Ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today I'm doing a collab. It's been a while since I got to do one and I'm doing it with a bunch of lovely beauties here on YouTube. Some are just recently people I just uh, newly met and um, some are people that I've known for quite some time and everything. So I don't know if there'll be one link or all links. But if you click down below um, and check it out and you will see everybody down there and go and check them out, please. And maybe subscribe if you like. Um, bunch of great ladies. I'm sure you'll love it. This one here is a collab about summer drink. We were to pick what summer drink we really like. Um, or what we, you know, seem to drink mostly in the summertime. I thought I would go ahead and do the raspberry uh, lemonade one. We went to a place to eat not long ago and it was pretty bomb the way they made theirs. So I really liked it a lot. So if you guys would like to stick around and see how I get my uh, summer drink look and it's a get ready with me, keep on watching. Okay, so there'll probably be some music and I'm gonna try and keep it moving pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face using the uh, Wet n Wild, uh, Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Next, you can't even see the writing or anything. It's kind of hilarious, but this is the Wet n Wild, um, the Fergie Eye Primer, <laughs> but you can't see anything on it. Um, they did. Uh, they didn't change the formula. They just changed the packaging, and Fergie is just no longer affiliated with them. So Next, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Revitalift Eye Blur, Miracle Blur. I feel like it gives that extra, extra help. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette to get a base setting. Um, I'm going to use this first shadow here called Blondie. That's the one I'm going to use. This is my Beach Party Girl palette, which I use this a lot sometimes to do some unique looks because it does have some a little more bolder, vivid colors in there. So not too many, but some, um, cause I do see a yellow in there and then I see a red, red in there, but I'm going to work with the red and I am actually going to put the red working it from the outer corner and in all around the crease area. I want this one right here, this red right here. This one, it looks more like a raspberry red, a little bit more to me anyway, it does. Cause now I'm gonna take this yellow color in here but I think I know what I'm going to do so that it doesn't look too cray cray. This yellow here, it's kind of a pretty bold yellow, but that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it on my lid, all over my lid. All right, I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee, the Creme Brulee shade. Kind of use it a little above the red just to kind of work through the edges there. I'm going to dip a little bit into the red again.
Now I'm gonna try this out because I thought maybe this might work a little bit in with the yellow that's on my lids right now. And that is Makeup Geeks Shimma Shimma. I'm gonna use my fingers for that. Don't mind my lashes and stuff. I didn't do any of that yet, but it gives it at the perfect yellow, um, like lemon yellow. So perfect. Now I'm going to use my Lunier Intense um, eyeliner that I always use. You know, this is my favorite liquid eyeliner that I have used, oh god, quite some time now. Okay, I'm gonna use Brown Nose <laughs> from Mally. It's one of Mally's um, Evercolor Starlight Eyeliners, and it's called a Brown Noser. Not sure if you still can get these on the queue. She did have them on there for a while. I'm gonna use this in tight line instead of using another black. Okay, um, I didn't do the bottom area like the um, eyelining there on the waterline or any of those kind of things yet because I'll come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and put on my top lashes though the fully charged uh, from Pure Cosmetics mascara. I have to say guys this is becoming one of my favorite mascaras seriously. I love how it does my lashes and I'm so glad I bought a backup when I did so. I try to do the method where they say look down so that's Kind of what I'm doing looking down in a mirror. All right, so we got the eyelashes on the top going. When I do my brows, I'll just go off. Off or whatever. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I use my finger. I know somebody, I know some people use the beauty blender and things like that, and everybody has their own thing of how they do that stuff. I like to use my fingers because I just feel it works just as good, maybe even better. I'm going to use from the I Am Green Eye Brightener, um, the I Am Green Minerals Bright Eyes Under Eye Brightener. I'm going to do, because I don't know how many people are going to see this video and I want as many to hear about this product. I'm just going to say real quick, this is the sample size um, product that they sent me. I had thought it was the regular size that they have on their site that they sell and I thought this was the size that you get for $21. It is not. She by accidentally, or they did I guess, put the wrong sticker on the bottom of our containers like it has. That's why it was a little bit confusing but I do want to make a correction so I will be talking about that a little bit more in a video but just so you know. This is not the size you get. It is bigger of a size for $21, just so you guys know. And I've been using this all the time since I've been setting my, um, when, when I do my makeup. I do it a little bit different maybe than how maybe some do. I do put, like as you see, my concealer, and then I use this on top of my concealer. To kind of set it and brighten. Now I'm going to put on my foundation and I'm using Mally's Effortless Airbrush. Um, I did a whole video on this. Video quality is crap because my video quality has gotten better since whatever, but Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse. Uh, mine's in fair. I have to shake it out. That's what it kind of looks like. Just 
Just gonna use my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder just to set a little bit. Then I'm gonna use my bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers, the Chocolate Soleil in Medium Dark from Too Faced. My most favorite bronzer of all. I'm going to use my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. I'm going to then use my Lorac Blush in Flaunt. It is one of my favorite blushes. I love this shade. Now for my eyebrow area, I'm just going to set um, with this color called Shimp that's in the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. It's called, um, or Skimp. <laughs> Shimp. I think Shimp's the Three Stooge character. <laughs> that is too funny. Leave it to me to say that. I'll work on the bottom area here. First, gonna use the raspberry color in the outer part of the bottom um, Then I'm going to use the yellow in there. Okay, I'm going to use this um, Sephora eyeliner. It's a waterproof eyeliner. I think it's called Coca. It's called Coca or something. It's a, a bronzy shade. I got it from, um, like that kind of, I got it in my summer, um, Sephora bat, um, box. Put the lashes on the bottom. So I did my brows offline cause I, I still work and play with and it takes too long anyway so I was trying to find a lipstick and everything to go with everything um, I'm gonna set my makeup with the hydrating primer mist from Part Candy I love this stuff it's been working great for me I try to put my head up and then let it kind of mist down found the mistake out by being too close. Um, I'm going to use, this is from Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. I think this is the neutral one. This is a really good uh, lip liner. I only got a little mini because um, it came in that same box that uh, the eyeliner came in. Now I got my uh, lips lined. Then I'm going to use my NARS I think this is just one of the, this is one of their regular lipsticks. It's called Roman Holiday. Not sure if you can see that. It's called Roman Holiday. It's from one of their regular uh, lipsticks. I'm gonna use that. All right, guys. That is my final look. And as you can see, got my yellow and my reds and raspberry looking shade um, on my eyes. It turned out really nice. I had fun doing this. It was, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Maybe I would wear it out. It's not too, too cray cray is what I was worried it was going to be. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, uh, ladies for asking me to join the collab. 
Um, there will be links or a link down below. So please go check out the rest of the lovely beauties who are in this collab with me and check their um, looks out. I'm kind of super excited to see what they're all going to come up with because I know they're all going to come up with some pretty amazing looks. So I cannot wait to see everybody. So thank you again so much. And if you're new to my channel and came from one of the ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you subscribe. If you are not with me on my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me in each week on my channel. Also, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and make me so happy. And as always, beauties, please remember, just please remember, be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Bye-bye. I love y'all. Bye-bye.